Hey guys, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. Good to see you today. Um, this is Sunday and I was just out all day. Well, I had two basketball games for my son this morning, which was great. Um, he played great and getting better every time. Um, and then I went and um, did my little social activity, uh, which is going out to dance salsa um, out in Oakland. Actually, it's Alameda. Uh, but it's one of my favorite activities. There's this really cool place called Brooklyn Basin, um, which is all outside, all by the water, and there's like a big deck. Um, where it's like really big, like really far. So people go and they skateboard and they roller skate and, um, and they, and dance. So there's like little groups and little sections, um, all the way down the way. And so today there was my salsa group and, oh, it is so amazing to, get back into salsa, to get back into um, sort of a little bit of the routine of the old normal. Um, and dancing, as you guys know, is like my number one favorite activity. <laughs> um, I do it for exercise. I do it for my social life. I do it for um, just for the pure joy of it um, and to be with other people and who love it just as much as I do. And I get all sweaty and like it's exercise. I wear like yoga pants and tennis shoes and I sweat a lot. I'm a very good breather. They say if you don't sweat, you aren't breathing. <laughs> so I'm a really good breather. Um, so anyways, um, today we're just going to do some cards. Um, this is from the Journey of Love deck, which I really love. Really beautiful cards. And we're just going to um, Alana Fairchild, Rasuli, and um, Richard Cohn uh, are the authors of um, this deck of cards. And they're really, really beautiful. Um, and so today we're just going to... Um, these are love cards. So as you guys know, I believe I told you, I am now a matchmaker. Um, and so I help people find partners and uh, wonderful people to date and to spend time with. Um, and I'm also a love coach as you guys know, and I help people uh, learn uh, emotional wellness and self-love. Those are sort of my two um, favorite things to talk about. Um, and, you know, just helping you guys with relationships and, um, and you know, just uh, negotiating hard, challenging feelings and just the ebbs and flows of relationships. So anyways, all right, I have been shuffling these cards and let me see, our intention, let's just go with our usual intention, which is, um, you know, what do we need to know right now? What do we need to pay attention to? What would be important in our lives right now? And this is the journey of love. So it doesn't have to be love. It could be love with your brother or sister. It could be love with a parent. It could be love with another boy or girl, your age, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, it could be love of yourself. So all different kinds of love we're talking about here. So let's see what we need to pay attention to, what would be important for us to know right now. All right, done shuffling. I'm gonna cut the deck and then I'm gonna choose the first card. Hmm. Within nothing, there is everything. What a cool card. This is card number two. And this almost looks like a black hole, <laughs> um, like in space where there's just like nothingness, right? Or like a cyclone where in the center it's calm and peaceful. 
and it looks like there's some clouds over here um, above. This is actually a really beautiful card. I love, I mean, I'm seeing like greenery like over here. This looks like it could be some sort of water or wave and then the clouds. Um, but I really love within nothing, there is everything. You know, within stillness, we have the answers. That's why meditation is so important. It's like calming our mind and calming our thought process so that we can receive intuitive messaging from our subtle energy body that we talk about a lot. And within nothing, there is everything. So you could almost like nothing, meaning like no thoughts, like kind of sit back in the back of your head, not in the front here, but like in the all the thoughts and analytics and everything, it's all right here. That's where it all happens, kind of like in the front, in your third eye. And so in order to kind of like pull yourself away from the thinking part of your, of your brain, you can imagine going from the front and walking just to the back. So like back here, so like it's even with your temples and with the soft spot that you used to have at the top of your head. So if you were to draw a line here and here, it's kind of like back here, back here. And that is the part of your brain that will allow you to have no thoughts, that will allow you to receive information and inspiration more easily. And we've talked about how meditation, in the quiet of the meditation, in the nothingness, right? In the nothing, is when you receive the answers. Because your intuition whispers. And the rest of the world is really loud. So we have to get quiet and still and create a space of nothingness so that we can receive the answers and we can um, find everything. And we never have to look outside of ourselves for the answers. The answers are always within us. Our intuitive guidance is what allows us to walk forward in our lives with alignment and with intention and with um, inspiration, with the way that we are supposed to be living our own personal journey, okay? So everyone is here on earth and we all have our own personal journey. We're all born alone and we all die alone. And in, in between the, the being born and the dying, we find people that teach us and that walk on the path with us, our journey in life. And so when we think too much about where we're going or what we're doing, we, we, we aren't as connected to our intuition and sort of the innate drive that we have um, if we were to just get quiet so that we could hear it. And once we hear it, we have everything, everything. We have all the answers, all the information that we need, all the power that we need resides within us. And so it's our job to learn how to find the answers. It's like learning how to go to the library and look up a book and learning how they categorize and where they put things. And, and so once you learn that, you can go find it. You can go find the book with the answers in it. And all of the answers are inside of you, inside um, in the area of your brain is where you can access it further back in your head and that will quiet the noise. It will create the nothingness that is necessary within nothing. There is everything, right? It's a duality. That's why it's card number two as well. It's like there's nothing on one side and then there's everything in, on the other side. 
So that is a really beautiful card today. This is what we can think about, what we can take. You know, um, it's creating space so that something can come. It's creating an environment so that something can grow and take up that space. So that is what is important for us to do right now in our lives in general is to quiet ourselves and allow for the inspiration to take up the space so that we can find all the answers within us. Please like, comment, and share on this video. And, um, and let me know what you thought of that. That was really fun for me. And I really, really love this card. It's really beautiful. I see you. I hear you. I'm here for you. And I love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.